Hello everyone and welcome back to more Idiotic Ultimara tutorialising uh, Caveman to Cosmos. So, uh, let's grab. yeah, so I got this option. I, I'm doing it four turns early, but it's fine. I got this option where my all my trackers, hunters, and chasers will be upgraded with a specific promotion. The promotions I the choices I have are hunting strike one, hunting sight, and hunter great. I am not one hundred percent sure what each of these do. I can't check the Civilopedia to make sure. I believe hunting strike gives me one free um one free extra strike. Hunting sight gives me plus one sight range, which is really good. And Great and Hunter Great, I'm not 100% sure about. So I'm actually going to go with the Hunting Sight. And he might have been bragging about his skills. Let him show us some. Let's see him cheat. Yeah. Let's get our Hunters together so he can teach. Uh, I think I will go for Hunting Sight. I do like the extra sight range that it gives me. Um, and it actually gives me more sub Q chance, which is everything I want. I am going to double check what the other one is. Just quickly. Um, if I can find it. It's the prom it's not prom well it is the kind of promotion fee. This takes ages to open. Mm, hunting. It's a, I would, it would probably be better if I went down the units. So it would be Hunters, which is, well, Trackers just all the way down here. Uh, okay. It's not Hunter. It's Master Hunter. That's, oh, here it is. Hunt, hunter Strike. So Hunter Strike 1 is plus 1 Stealth Strikes. Yeah, I don't really care about that too much. Um, it's not really that much of a bother for me. It'd be, it's nice when you're using that a lot, but I'm not really using it. Um, oh, Hunter Great is the other one, isn't it? Where the heck is Hunter Great? Um... Where is it? Um, why can't I find the Hunter Great? Unless I missed it. This is just so that people who are watching this as a tuto tutorial can understand what it does. Uh, I hate trying to find all this. It's not promotions. It is promotions actually. Hunter Great, Hunter Great. Without going through this. Hunter Great, here it is. Plus, oh, plus one free strikes, and I guess the plus 50% versus animals is actually really nice. Uh, but I prefer the Hunter Hunting Sight. It's just so much stronger. Anyway, um, now I can see loads of stuff with all my things. So I can see animals at a much further range, which is nice. Keep heading this way, please. Uh, also, another couple of things. I did get a great hunter, which is this guy. And I got him through uh, attacking enough to get the great general points or military person points. The more experience you get, the, uh, the quicker you get these. You get a choice of turning him into a great hunter within the city which gives you plus five food and two experience to all explorer types. Hunters are explorer types, by the way. Um, you can always give him a master tracker, which gives him a master hunter. He starts off one stronger than the whatever you can build, 
So if you can build a tracker, then he starts off at three. If you can build a hunter, he starts off at five and stuff like that. He just starts at one stronger than what you can get. Uh, I could do a military standard, and that would give me one for every city. Or I could make a golden age. I don't think it's worth getting a golden age until you have the second city. I actually think a master tracker is really, really strong. You get to... Not only do you get to hunt things a lot better, but you can attack twice with it, or at multiple times. You can attack multiple times. And I do like the Master Hunt Tracker, which you can upgrade to a Master Hunter as well at some point. Another thing that I, rem that I forgot about was the fact that we put in developing leaders. So I would suggest, if you have developing leaders, to go ham on your uh, culture. Pretty, pretty ham on culture. Try and build all the culture buildings you can. Right now we are at plus nine gold. We're not gating that much. We're getting six culture per turn, which isn't a lot. We lose 12 beakers per turn due to upgrading. And what I'm going to do is actually upgrade my watcher and my tribal guardian to enforcers. They're a much stronger unit, and they're better at capturing um, at capturing criminals, and they also reduce your crime at a faster rate, which is what we're needing right now. I did I did decide to go under banditry civic, which is pretty nice. Um, it allows you to build thieves. Thieves are really good if you can get it to your enemy. They can start stealing tech if you need to. It's one of the best ways to deal with it in the late game against deity uh, players or AI. Just steal all their tech. It's much faster to do that than to... Um, it's much faster to steal their tech than it is to research it yourself. I will also be changing my religion to folklore, which is no state religion, but it does re get rid of my negative 25% culture in all cities. As I said, get go ham on culture. You'll realize why after a while. So we're doing that. And yeah, we have been going quite well. I'll probably play up until turn 200. It really is liquid egg, yeah. The ultimate binding element in the medieval order was subordination to the divine will and its earthly representative, notably the Pope. Oh! Finally! My, um... My stone thrower can finally be upgraded to a slinger. Hell yeah! I might actually get that slinger to go on auto hunt. Because they do really care about it dying. Oh, whoops. And I'm still, I'm actually trying to get this back. Because I would like to get the penguin. I would like to subdue a penguin, or I have subdued a penguin, I would just like to get it back home. Stealing tech is much easier than figuring it out yourself. Why try to figure out tech when you don't have to? Ooh, kill. Or uh, capture is what I wanted actually. Um, I have to go around the mountains, great. Still a fairly far, fair decent, fairly far away still, which is unfortunate, but you will. <laughs> Let's go this way. Uh, uh, do I want to? Yeah, screw it. You just go auto hunt. I don't really care. Wasn't the um, Haberbosch the reason why that uh, the first computer was built? 
or first recorded computer. It might not actually be the first computer, but it's at least the first recorded one. Okay, and um, we're still trying to get home with these guys, which is taking a while. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. That's a dangerous place to go. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I didn't. I don't forgot what that was. Boop. And let's try and hunt more things. I cannot wait until I get a uh, sedentary lifestyle so I don't have to deal with running back and forth the whole time. It's so much better when they can just teleport back. <laughs> uh, vine gatherer, I think I'll build you again. Hammers, hammers, hammers. Hammers and even more hammers. Anyway, that is us uh, done with the five episodes. So look, it's Horatio. Hiro, Hiro Hito. Hiro Hito. I was reading a book, The History of Glue. I couldn't put it down. I think I'll stay here. Horatio. I, I actually said that in one of the uh, games we were playing. I was like, oh look, it's Her Horatio, but no, Hirohito. Hirohito. It just looks like Horatio. And combat was like, you have Horatio on the brain? I'm like, yes, I have Horatio on the brain. Anyway, so. For the next 50 or so um, turns, I will be going through the tech tree a bit more. I am hoping to get to... I should be at uh, Barter by then, which is very, very soon. Barter increases, like, makes the pathway for a lot of extra things, like uh, the actual Barter Civic. It gives me rogues, again, really good for stealing shit. Um, I can build lesser wealth if I want more money. A lot of my um, a lot of my tiles will get plus one uh, commerce, and I will also see gold ore, silver ore, jade, and turquoise and amber, which will help all that. Next, I will probably go down the bark working into tanning route, then into warfare, and then warfare will go into carpentry, into tribalism. And then finally, I will work myself, work my way towards chiefdom into sedentary lifestyle. That won't be in 50 turns. I won't get all that in 50 turns. I will probably get to um, warfare within 50 turns, I believe. Hopefully. Because most techs are about 6-ish turns. So that's, what, 10 techs away. I'll get down warfare. And hope. I'm hoping that nobody's built the Akanda by then. That is an amazing wonder. If you can get it, try to get it as quick, like try to get the Akanda. It reduces the maintenance of whichever city is built in by 20% and it increases the ex uh, experience of pretty much every single unit. It is an insanely good wonder. Especially for the prehistoric era. And it then it doesn't disappear until rifling, which is mid to late game. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have fun, people, and hope you learned something from this episode. Thank you, and goodbye.